Oh, October. We love it for a lot of reasons. And here's another one. It is National Pork Month. And you know, recent studies show that cooking with pork at home, you know, it's something that a lot of people just aren't quite sure what they should do, how they should do it. It reminded me of growing up, and I think a lot of us had this where maybe the pork chops were cooked a little too much. And Molly Tevis is here. She's Albertson's dietitian over on the Broadway store. Uh, the Broadway Albertson's yes. joining us now to talk about pork. And you know, you have some cooking tips, some yes. great tasting tips too. That's so right. why did we all try to overcook our pork, do you think? The fear was that you wouldn't be able to kill off the germs. You know, there was yeah. a fear you gotta cook it long enough, so it ended up making it really tough. Mm -hmm. It wasn't tender, but pork can be a really tender, lean, protein source for. So specifically pork tenderloin yeah, I love is pork tenderloin. really lean. You don't have to mess with it. You don't have to cut any extra fat off of it and it stays nice and tender and moist. And now they're actually working with a lot more family farms to get more heritage pigs. Mm -hmm. So they have a more moist and flavorful tenderloin to them. Very good. And nice and, they, and lean. They take flavors really well yes. too, don't they? Which it is the pairs big plus. really well with yeah. a lot of whatever flavors you're cooking it with. So one of the great things about having pork be in October is it's also wonderful flavors to pair from fall favorites. All so right. squash, apples, kind of these sweet flavors do mm -hmm. really well with pork. They just kind of enhance it. So that's why you always end up seeing applesauce with your pork chops or oh, with your yeah. pork tenderloin. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Okay, well, what are we going to make today? So we are making a squash salad okay. to go on the side with our pork tenderloin. So we've got just nice mix of greens already. Beautiful. You're going to make our dressing. Okay. So here's your spoon. You're going to do two spoons of your olive oil. Okay. Easy enough. One, two. Two spoons of your vinegar. Is that this here? That is that one. Okay. This is super quick. Whoop. <laughs> Fresh bottle. One. And this is apple cider vinegar. Apple I'm cider guessing? vinegar. Okay. And then one squirt, one oh, spoonful of your Dijon mustard. Like about there? There you go, perfect. Oh, I love that mixture. And that then you can great. just stir it together. I've already got some fresh thyme in there and fresh shallots. So shallots aren't as harsh mm -hmm. as red onions or white onions. So they blend really well with sweeter flavors. Okay. And then go ahead and pour it on Strizzle top of our greens. Bit. Yep. And I like to put it on underneath kind of all of our other crunchies oh. and squash so that it doesn't soak into them. Okay. So you could always save it for afterwards and do it individually. Okay. But then we're going to top it with our freshly cooked butternut squash. So oh, can butternut, I taste one of these? Yeah, go oh, for I it. I love butternut squash. It's just been oven roasted, a little salt mm. and pepper. Mm. And mm. I bought it already pre-cubed, but you mm -hmm. can cube it up. Cooks sure. really fast, 400 degrees. And then we're going to top with some roasted pumpkin seeds. You could actually use Fun. the seeds from like your acorn squash or whatever squash you're using, kind of repurpose them. And then a little bit of cranberries as well. So we'll drizzle okay. those on top. Boy, nice combination. Isn't it? And it's I nice like and flavorful and looks like fall colors. So this goes perfectly on the side with our pork tenderloin. Can you see this? I'm not sure. There we go. Can you, oh, look how beautiful. I think I can turn it over here. That's beautiful. And again, this is a side dish then. Side dish. Your pork tenderloin. That's right. And you, wouldn't you say use a cooking thermometer with use your Use your cooking thermometer. Yep. yep. Get it up to 165 degrees internally. Make sure you're safe. But it, you don't have to worry about it as much as we used to think. All right. Anything else except letting people know where the recipe is? You ha go to the website for the recipe. And then you can also make fun little apple rings to cook quickly on your stove top if you have time oh. to pair with your pork. Oh, good Sprinkle idea. Sprinkle them with a little cinnamon and then it really brings that autumn dish all together. Yeah. And it's good for the kids too. And okay, we've got these recipes for you on the KTVB.com website. Right. And Molly, thanks, these are great ideas. We'll be cooking up some pork for National Pork Month. <laughs> we'll be right back.